now I can change the output format with dash O. So for instance, um, I can do dash O wide. Um, so let me unzoom just a little bit. It's, it's fine if, if you can't read everything. I will resume after, don't worry. But when we use dash O wide, this shows us more information. So for instance, in that case, I can see the internal IP address. I can see the OS image version, the kernel version, and the container runtime version. All these things can, can be useful. And by the way, um, this gives us a hint that we could have a cluster mixing different versions. Um, it's, it's not like particularly recommended in to, to just have like a cluster with uh, five different versions of Kubernetes running at the same time. But when we do a cluster upgrade, um, at, during the upgrade, we will have a mix of versions and that's completely fine. It's, it's totally okay. Um, another output format that we can use is JSON, for instance. So for instance, if I do kubectl get node node one dash o JSON, I get a bunch of JSON uh, with extra details about node one. You can see um, here a bunch of information that kind of uh, is the same thing that I was uh, seeing with dash o wide that dash o wide uh, just a minute ago with like the container time version, the kernel version, etc., etc. Um, I can also ask for YAML. And when I get some YAML, if I look at that YAML, it always has the same structure. There is always API version, kind, metadata. At the very least, always, 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 when I get something back from the Kube API, it has that. So API version v1 kind is the type of the reply. This is telling me uh, that the thing I'm going to give you is a node. Yeah, I asked for a node, so it's giving me a node. That makes sense. Then I have some metadata. And then since it's a node, I have additional fields, like I have a spec and I have a status. And the fields in the spec and in the status are extremely well defined. This is a node, therefore, I will have this and this and this in the output. 